Hey everybody, Andy Rake and Montolio, and we're back for round four of a vintage league. We're playing Jund Hogak Line. Zajad is a player that likes to play Hollow Line, and most recently I have seen them on Bug. So I, I suspect it will audible somewhere in there. Um, this is a hand that's good against Hollow Line. But otherwise it's fairly bad. Against Bug. Yeah, I mean, I have no idea which one they're playing. These are kind of like dead cards. I'll keep it. We'll try it. We just have to hope that they're on, on uh, Hollowbine. Even still, against Hollowbine, this might be uh, not a good matchup, but I got the missed up. Okay. We were fairly dependent on that death right getting through, but time bolt, okay. So fairly anticlimactic from uh, from our side of things. We're, we are in some trouble here. I think that might have been a little bit of a loose keep. I, I've done a couple uh, questionable keeps, but that's one of the challenges of this deck is figuring out what the balance is between non-bizarre hands and, and when to mulligan and when to to keep them and now this was a sheer gamble based on like did my opponent have it or not and what deck were they playing so i was just about to say force of vigor is my literal best draw here but i don't think we have the luxury of sitting around i don't feel like they have much going on here they may hard cast a force Right now, putting that in my yard. It's his appeal. Yeah. Might have a lightning bolt here, maybe. So our Force of Vigor is unlikely to work here now with the nine cards in their hand. Um, they're, they're very likely to have a Force of Will. Vampiric. Yep. They're going to Tinker. Probably get a... Well, they are getting a little lower on life. This is going to put them 10, 10 life. Citadel was not deterministic if they have a sphinx in their main that's pretty good citadel was definitely not at its best here oh mentor yeah all right we can concede we're not gonna we're not gonna be the mentor All right, so we have a much better idea of what's going on now. My opponent's playing Paradoxical Outcome, and this is a pretty tough matchup for us, I would think. But we definitely have some good tools in here to be able to help in this matchup.
Let's do something like this. And I, I think we're going to put up a better fight this time. But running into combo is definitely a weakness of this deck. Okay, that is a very nice hand. We'll keep that one. Now, what ruins us here as a, as a tabernacle would be really bad for us, but we don't have the luxury of playing around that right now. So I'm just going to proactively try and get the collector roof into play. Yeah, they didn't like that. That's, that's a pretty good force of will from them, to be honest. They know that it was going to be collector roof there. Yep. See, with Blazing Rootwalla added to Hogak Vine and the subtle shift in the colors of the land, being able to animate Blazing Rootwalla is just so great. Like, we have a play now with our, our wooded foothills in the taiga for Blazing Rootwalla. Like, that's just so awesome. Kind of a, not sure how I feel about what I just did there, but let's bizarre here and see what we can find. What do we want to fetch for here? Well, I think we want red and green. Just as in. All right. Well, I mean, it's a lot of power coming through next turn. 15 damage. Exactly. Now, my opponent's a combo deck, so they maybe can go off here, but let's see. They shuffled. Okay, that's good for me. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but my daughter is practicing her violin right now. Okay.
tell us could come out, but I still think even on the draw, like, I mean, it, it, it's valuable. Because it's PO when moxes are coming up and down, it, it still has value even uh, when you're not on the play. And uh, you take a, uh, my opponent's opening hand last game, for example, where they did not play any moxes on turn one. They may have been sandbagging them for fear of force of vigor. When you have that type of mentality and you're holding the moxes in your hand, you can get punished with those type of lines with chalice when it comes down. So this is a nice hand. We, we don't have any interaction on turn one. We have to hope my opponent doesn't go for it, but... This has the potential to be a very explosive start. Not now. Well, it still has the potential to be explosive. Now they're going to have to crack it. <laughs> 